Hello friends, a little update on this larger vermiculite as a casing layer and within the substrate. We did a mix of that finer vermiculite that we're used to along with that thicker vermiculite. And somebody in the comments had a great suggestion that 50-50 might actually be perfect. And so that's what we have here. And we have a little bit different setup. We're not using our grow tent right now. We've been getting some cold snaps where we are. And so we're just using this little Martha cabinet that we have. And I've got this heat mat. It's a seedling heat mat. And I don't recommend it putting it under your tubs or your bags. But it sure does heat an area. And I've used it in our grow tent before. And it's pretty amazing. So if you're getting some cold snaps, having that heat mat, and it's from Vizosun, V-I-V-O-S-U-N, it has been amazing. So normally we don't have as much moisture on the side of the tub. So this just might be something with this larger vermiculite. But you can see this casing layer through the tub. And these are different types of mushrooms. So this one is still colonizing within the closed top. And this one I just put into fruiting conditions with a little tub here. And you can see that it's ready. <laughs> it's, it's ready to go. Ready to go. Different types, of course. So this type is actually known for growing up like that, the mycelium on the side. This is very normal. Again, we're not used to as much moisture on the side, but it could just be this larger vermiculite and because I've got this heat, the seedling heat mat in here. So when you add heat or warmth, it really changes the environment. And so we just have these two little tubs going during this cold snap and not in our normal tent, but it's working perfectly. And I wanted to show you because you don't have to use a tent or a large Martha. You can just use a cabinet space that you might have, and that's what we're doing here. So I'm hoping that by showing you this little setup, you can see how easy it is to actually grow mushrooms at home, whether you use the tubs or you use bags. So I will get back to you <laughs> on the success of this vermiculite in the future, but it's looking really, really, really good. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.